Welcome back, Summit County. You're watching Summit Sunrise this morning. I'm Lauren. I'm now joined by Gary. We're hanging out here in the studio, having a great time. How are you this morning, Gary? I'm really good. Really good. Great sunset in the way in. Sunset, sunrise. Sunset, sunrise, whatever. <laughs> it's Monday morning. <laughs> Something's going on out there, and it's beautiful. Um, so, Gary, you're here to tell us a little bit about 5A on the ballot. Tell me what is that? Well, just about anybody you talk to in Summit County these days, and this is verified by some of the surveys the county does. Uh, we hear from business owners, we hear from citizens all over the county, uh, the school districts, the fire departments, the lack of affordable housing. So 5A is a ballot question that is being uh, offered by the uh, Summit County government as well as the towns. Okay. It's being run through the county housing authority. It would raise uh, would add a 0 0.6, six tenths of 1% sales tax increase uh, to the purchase of various goods. Um, and all those dollars are generated to be used for the um, uh, promotion of affordable housing. So it could be used for purchase of land, the construction of units, or for infrastructure, you know, both to and on properties that are um, set up for affordable housing. The 10 years, it's a temporary, not a permanent tax, it's a temporary 10-year um, issue, and it would raise about $7.8 million annually, $78 million more or less over this 10-year period. Wow. And finally, just in terms of my quick overview, the um, sales tax was selected because the, uh, about 80% of all sales taxes generated in Summit County uh, come from tourism. So the sales tax would apply to the, you know, the purchase of about anything that tourists make. So in a sense, the tourists are helping pay for some of some, some of county's affordable housing problems. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I feel like tourists might not even know how big of a problem this actually is. Like just trying to find housing, especially affordable housing, it's, yeah. it's getting tough. <laughs> it is getting tough. And just to put a little finer point on that, mm -hmm. the, uh, the county uh, and the towns do a survey uh, oh, every few years about affordable housing to see how, how we're doing. And for background, the, uh, the county and the towns have been doing a very good job over the years. Uh, about almost 24, 2,500 units have been uh, constructed or uh, purchased over the years. But the most recent survey shows that we're, we're gonna need another 1,680 units by the year 2020. So wow. we've got a lot of work to do. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we're talking a little bit about, like, I mean, I personally can feel that the affordable housing is, is something that we need to talk about. But yeah, why else is this something that we really need? What, what, pardon? Why else is this something that we really need here? Well, it's, a, <laughs> you know, details. to really run the economy, um, it's, a, it's a little tough having, a, you know, five, six, eight people in a unit. People need some good, um, some housing. The, um, it's a uh, getting harder and harder to attract good uh, talent to the, to the county for a variety of things. All the public safety issues, the schools, the, um, and, and just running ski shops and running restaurants and so on. If we're gonna be a world-class economy and a world-class resort area, we need to have a much better, uh, we need to do much better in terms of providing for housing for those, those workers. Mm -hmm. We are way, way beyond what the normal worker makes uh, in terms of uh, being able to afford the, the units that are here. So the, again, the workforce housing effort would be uh, to get more units developed and units that would be developed in a uh, price range that is affordable, both on a rent basis as well as a for sale basis. Yeah, absolutely. So Gary, if somebody wants to find out more information about 5A, how can they find out more? Uh, there's a Facebook page set up, 5A Housing for Summit is where you would uh, look. And a lot more of the details will be provided there. Um, so take, have at it. There it is, 5A Housing for Summit. Awesome, yeah. So Gary, thank you so much for joining me this morning and telling thank me you, a little Lauren. bit more about 5A. It is definitely something that we need to talk about. Um, I mean, when I... When I first moved here, I, should I confess this on live TV? I slept on a couch for three months when I moved here because I couldn't find somewhere to live. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, now, now you all know. <laughs> I slept on a couch forever. But yeah, it's, it's, I, I really appreciate that we're looking at this and more affordable housing is coming, hopefully. So yeah, Carrie, thank well, you so much. We'll take some time and look at the, uh, the Facebook page and uh, 
Yeah. Get out and vote. Most importantly, get out and vote. Definitely get out there and vote. But yeah, like I said, thank you so much. Um, we're going to take a short break, but don't go anywhere because we'll be right back.